Reports are stating that Spurs are in talks with a central defender and we could purchase him for £12.5 million. The Daily Mail have stated that Spurs have been handed a boost as Juventus have called their interest in Roma star Nicolo Zaniolo. In other reports... Uh, Spurs are interested in Adama Traore again and Cardiff are interested in Spurs striker Keon Tet. The new Premier League season is just a few days away and reports from Ofcom have revealed that the Tottenham players have been abused on Twitter the most. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, OneFootball, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. So before we get into it, I would just like to tell you about an exclusive deal. NordVPN are giving everybody who watches this channel and listens to this show a huge discount off a NordVPN plan and one additional month absolutely free. It is completely risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. I use this myself so I can thoroughly recommend this service. It is the fastest VPN in the world. No buffering or no lagging while streaming. It also protects your data whilst traveling and using Wi-Fi. NordVPN protects you wherever you are in the world. NordVPN can also save you money whilst buying subscriptions from other countries at a cheaper price, purchasing flights from different virtual locations to find cheaper deals. And if you want to watch sporting events which aren't airing in your region, you can switch your virtual location to a country which is showing the event. So as I said, I fully recommend this service. So grab your exclusive NordVPN deal now by visiting nordvpn.com forward slash Tottenham fans to get a huge discount. One additional month, absolutely free of charge. It is risk free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Don't miss it. And now let's get back to talking Tottenham. So let's start by talking about the Premier League fixtures. Yes, in just a couple of days' time, the new season starts. Friday evening, Crystal Palace will take on our North London rivals, Arsenal at Selhurst Park. That is the first game of the brand new campaign. Six games take place on Saturday. Fulham will take on Liverpool. Bournemouth against Aston Villa. Leeds will take on Wolves. Newcastle will take on Nottingham Forest. Tottenham, of course, will be home um, against Southampton at 3 pm kickoff on Saturday. And Everton will take on Chelsea in the late kickoff on Saturday. On Sunday, three games will take place. Leicester City will take on Brentford. Manchester United will take on Brighton. And West Ham will take on Manchester City. The match officials have now been confirmed for Tottenham's first Premier League game of the new season, a home to Southampton on Saturday. The referee will be Andre Mariner. His assistants will be Simon Long and Richard West. The fourth official will be Tim Robinson, VAR Paul Tierney and assistant VAR Natalie Aspinall. A report has just been published by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Tottenham have been handed a boost in £42 million race to sign Roma star Nicolo Zaniolo after Juventus caught interest and switched their focus to other attacking options. It states that Antonio Conte is keen to make Nicolo Zaniolo his seventh summer signing and the Tottenham boss watched him in action during Saturday's pre-season friendly in Israel. Juventus were favourites to land the midfielder but have now called their interest. It states that Juventus were favourites to land the 23-year-old with Roma ready to accept offers over €50 million, Euros, the equivalent of £42 million. Pounds. It also states that Spurs boss Antonio Conte had the chance to take a closer look at Zaniolo during Saturday's 1-0 defeat by Roma in a pre-season friendly. And the Spurs boss is keen to make him his seventh summer signing. He has already recruited Jed Spence, Ivan Perisic, Fraser Forster, Yves Basuma, Richarlison and Clement Lengley on loan. 
Nicolo Zaniolo has scored 22 goals in 111 games for Roma since his debut back in 2018. And although he has been a regular in Jose Mourinho's side, his role may be adjusted with the arrival of Paolo Dybala. A report has just been published by 90 Min and they are stating that Spurs are still interested in signing Wolf star Adama Traore. It states that Adama Traore is hoping to secure a move away from Wolves before the end of the summer transfer window. And the Spain international has a year left to run on his contract at Molyneux and spent the second half of last season on loan at Barcelona, but they declined the chance to make the move permanent. 90 Min understands that the two clubs keeping an eye on Traore at the moment are Tottenham and Chelsea. It also states in this report that Spurs came close to bringing in Traore back in January before he opted to return to Camp Nou instead, while they also weighed up a move last summer when his former Wolves manager, Nuno Espirito Santo, was at the club. The North London side remain in the market for another player capable of operating at right wing back with Roma's versatile midfielder, Nicolo Zaniolo, also being looked at as a potential makeshift option there. Now, if you're travelling to Tottenham's home game against Wolves on the 20th of August, you may want to read a report on the club's website because it states that supporters are asked to note that industrial action by RMT is expected to affect all national train services on the day of the Wolves match on Saturday the 20th of August. The kickoff time is 12.30pm. Trains are only expected to operate between 8am and 6pm at greatly reduced frequency. Both before and after the match, London Underground is currently expected to operate around 75% of regular scheduled services, while Greater Angular could operate between 30 and 40%. A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham are taking a deep look at bargain £12.5 million transfer with talks set for today. Tottenham have enjoyed a successful summer transfer window so far. According to reports, Tottenham are taking a deep look and are holding internal talks over a bargain £12.5 million transfer for Nikola Milinkovic. Antonio Conte still wants to strengthen his defence uh, despite making several additions this summer. Milinkovic's form for Fiorentina has caught the attention of some of Europe's top clubs and West Ham were reported to be interested in signing the 24-year-old just 12 months ago. The report also states that the Italian media have claimed that Juventus, Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid have all expressed an interest in the player. Spurs feel that they can get a bargain with the towering centre-back and are apparently holding internal discussions over completing a transfer. The player is valued at around £12.5 million. And reports in the Italian media today are claiming that Milenkovic could be a replacement for the outgoing Jaffa Tanganga. The Spurs Academy product has been linked with Newcastle, AC Milan and Roma. Milenkovic made 33 appearances in Serie A last season and his form was rewarded with a new contract. His previous deal was set to expire this summer, but refreshed terms mean he will now be out of contract in 12 months time. A report has just been published by Wales Online and they are stating that Cardiff City are keen on young Tottenham striker Keon Tet amid strong championship interest. The Bluebirds are interested in the Spurs forward amid strong interest from divisional rivals. The report states that Atet 20 is a player that Cardiff City are targeting for a permanent move. The six foot four inch front man who spent the first half of last season on loan uh, with Northampton Town in League Two and the second half in League One with Cheltenham Town scored six goals across 30 league games last season. Spurs decided earlier this summer that they would be open to selling Keon Atet after opting against him travelling to South Korea on their pre-season tour. The forward has been described as both physical, owing to his stature, and mobile. Atet scored 10 goals in 25 Premier League, two games for Spurs under 23 side and attracted interest from the Football League last season, prompting moves to the Cobblers and then the Robins. He now has many admirers in the Championship and the Bluebirds would have to fend them off if they were to land his signature. Now, journalist with the Press Association, Jonathan Veal, tweeted the following on uh, Tuesday evening and said that Tottenham players had the highest percentage of abusive tweets from those analysed by Ofcom. Harry Kane was one of the 12 most abused players in the Premier League, with 5% of tweets directed to him being abusive. 
Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Let's start with the Premier League starting. It is just a couple of days away. And I tell you what, to say I'm excited would be a complete understatement. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see Antonio Conte and the Spurs players walking out of that tunnel at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium just before three o'clock. Uh, on Saturday afternoon as we will face Southampton in our first Premier League game of the new season. There is high expectation among all of the Spurs fans and of course I'm expecting big things. Six summer signings so far, uh, a month left of the window so who knows we could still bring in one or two uh, more additions for this coming season. Uh, fully expecting a win on Saturday. Uh, of course I am, it's so important to get off to a very good start um, in the Premier League. And then, of course, our second game is Chelsea away. So that'd be an interesting one. Um, but, yeah, high expectation. Hopefully, um, Antonio Conte can guide us to success next season and hopefully we can lift a trophy. Jonathan Ville, the uh, journalist with the uh, Press Association, put out an interesting tweet. Report from Ofcom revealed that the Tottenham players were abused the most on Twitter. Sadly, this does not surprise me because I've seen so much abuse on Twitter for Spurs players. Of course, some of it is from uh, our own fans and some of it is from opposition fans. It is completely unacceptable wherever it's coming from. Um, sadly, um, you know, when you're in the public eye, you do get... Um, a lot of abuse on Twitter. And I tell you what, if I was a professional footballer, um, I would stay uh, well clear of any social media, um, especially Twitter. It can be a very, very dark place um, sometimes, um, particularly when your team is not doing well. Um, you know, I saw uh, a lot of abuse for a lot of Tottenham Hotspur players, particularly under the management of Jose Mourinho and Nuno Espirito Santo when results weren't going our way. But um, a lot of this abuse... It's completely unacceptable. And of course, more reports have been published about possible signings for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, could Antonio Conte get his seventh and eighth signings of this summer transfer window? I'm sure it will happen. Uh, you know, there is almost a month left. But at the moment, um, we're talking about Adama Traore. We're talking about uh, Nikola Milenkovic. And we're also talking about Nicolo Zaniolo. The Zaniolo one will be interesting because I've read many reports today uh, from lots of journalists stating that um, Zaniolo is wanted by Jose Mourinho and he is putting a stop to any move, um, especially to Tottenham Hotspur. But if Spurs put in a bid that Roma just simply cannot turn down, then who knows what's going to happen? I'm sure that the club will go to Jose Mourinho and say, well, this is too good of an offer to turn down and he is off. So that would be an interesting one. Adama Traore, I cannot believe that we are being linked with him yet again. Uh, and of course, many reports in January stated that he come out and said to Fabio Prasci and uh, Antonio Conte that he didn't want to play right wing back. So that would be an interesting one. Um, and apparently Spurs are in talks uh, with Milinkovic um, for a £12.5 million move. Um, as I've said, I'm sure that Spurs will get one or two more additions in uh, before the end of the summer transfer window. Interesting times ahead. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.